heading back to South Beach, you know, you want it, you want your role players to be getting into a rhythm because you yeah. know going home they're gonna play better. Yep. So like prime example, we fuck around get a uh, a Caleb Martin twenty point game in game three. Like I know we think we expect the the Nuggets to win, but I do think it's gonna be another good game. And I think like I said, Spo is gonna continue to make the adjustments that he feels are necessary. Uh, I, I want to see how he continues to use Kevin Love because Kevin Love started, but he damn sure didn't finish. You know, he used him in the spurts when he needed to, and so um, I, I I still like I said I still got Nuggets in five, but I'm more inclined to say it's going to be a close series as opposed to just blowouts back and forth. I mean, it's like with the... Because uh... they played twice in the regular season, and like I think it was like, yeah, them, them two total like nine points. Because yeah, was... Jamal Murray ain't play one, Jimmy ain't yeah. play one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that, like, that's even... why I was kind of... And the last time they played was like January. Like... Even with the, the Lakers and Nuggets, I thought the vast majority of those games were very competitive. So yeah, I don't. I'm not expecting the Nuggets to come in. The Nuggets gave up a lot of leads through that entire series, so I'm not expecting the Nuggets to come in and just smoke them. Because a sweep is a sweep, and a sweep will look bad. But when the games are very close, it it's it can, it's deceptive. And it's the same with me saying the Nuggets are winning five. I don't think it's gonna be five, just them destroying them. But I do think at every position on the team, the Nuggets are better than them, except Jimmy Butler, literally. So if it's on in the wrap this up this last time uh topic. So if you Michael Malone, what you telling the guys in, in the post game, right? In, in the locker room right now, like what you heading to Miami, where it's going to be this is still Miami, Florida. You gotta stay focused. As you can tell, Stephen A is very excited to be there. It's the first time the NBA finals in Miami for almost a decade, because we know that government experiment that happened in Florida <laughs> in Orlando. So this this will be first time we have one there. What do you think Michael Malone telling his his team? Uh, I mean, honestly, I think he has to tell his team to make – they got to make shots. They got to make shots. Like, I'm looking at the box score. Like, um, obviously, when Aaron Gordon, he didn't – he only took – Burr only took seven shots, and he made five. So, I'm not really upset with him. And he did good defensively. But when Michael Borden going two for eight, uh, KCP going one for four, you feel me? Like, you got to make shots. Um, Like I said, Murray, you need him to be more aggressive. So, other than that, uh, you got to keep playing the game you've been playing the entire playoffs. You know, this is your like, this is your first play. This is your first loss at home. Yeah. So it's not anything to panic about. And you lost by three points. With they yeah. said, Gabe Vincent gave you a dub. Uh, you know, Duncan Robinson hit some big shots. You had a, every everything that needed to go right for the Heat went right, and you lost by three points. Yeah. So if, if I'm Denver, I'm not panicking at all. I just you know continue to play your game, and you got to execute and make shots. Yeah. I think I don't know what I in terms of a speech I don't really know, um, but if, if there was a strategy, I might consider giving Bruce Brown more time down the stretch. He seems to have been pretty consistent this entire playoffs. Um, yeah. I didn't mind the minutes of Christian Braun. I mean, he was three for three, uh, very active around the floor. Thought it, you know, I thought it was a good decision to have him uh, play uh, during really, really most of the first half, especially getting I think he had like three assists or something like that. Uh, so I don't mind that. My issue is Jeff Green playing. You know, I feel like I've, I feel like I've seen Jeff Green since high school because you have. He's yeah. been he's been in. It's just, Jeff Green was part was the was the was the was the number one guy to get Kevin Garnett to Boston. Yeah. Like that's how long the niggas been in the league. Like yeah. bro, Jeff Jeff Green is either really good or really terrible. Yeah. Like he gonna, he gonna show you he's why he's supremely athletically gifted, or it's like bro, get Jeff Green off the court. Yeah. I just feel like he was just a waste on the floor. You know. Like he he was one of one. The shot he took, he hit. He hit like <laughs> he hit like what six free throws, I think. Yeah, six, six free throws. Six or six. You know, so he was very it, it, on paper. It's like, oh man, he did fine. But that's when the stats don't tell you the whole story. I saw him there, and I'm like, you're just standing there. I don't know if anybody remembers the NBA Live Andrew Bynum Jesus glitch. Yes, this, I remember that. This is when Andrew Bynum stood in the court and just stood like this, and it was a glitch. And somebody said, "What's wrong with this game?" It was the NBA Live demo. <laughs> It was like live <laughs> 15 or some shit. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. But that's what I think of when I see Jeff Green on the court. He's just there. It's 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 no use for him being there. Um, and you know, if you saying down to either he's really good or it's just why are you in the game? I honestly would just shed some of those minutes. Uh MPJ, matter of fact, Bruce Brown had more minutes than MPJ. I really like the concept that if MPJ isn't doing well, stick Bruce Brown in there, get you like a fire starter. I would probably really lean on that more because there's some games MPJ would just look ridiculous and Bulls fans would say, oh man, why didn't we have him? You know, 
as I've seen plenty of times through yeah, our Twitter recently. I seen uh, niggas yeah. mad about Max Struess. I'm like, nigga, you didn't know who he was a couple months ago. Like, I didn't know because he went to the Paul. Like, <laughs> so no, I, I, I went, mean, he was a bull. Like, people forget that shit. I don't remember that at all. Exactly. Wait, I what? He, yeah, he was I, a I, bull. I, I, nigga, they cut that nigga. Hilarious. Uh, remember, he culture is a cult. It, it doesn't matter. The names they get make no sense. I don't even care that they're doing it. It's just, it's weird. Um, but I would stick between that, the the really the shift between Bruce Brown and MPJ, get Jeff Green out of the game. Uh, Christian Brown, I don't know. I, I like what he does out there. He's really athletic. He really is, act, really is active. Um, but I really like Bruce Brown in the game. So that probably would be my tweak because MPJ is going to tweak out. And then you got to tell Jamal Murray, you better start shooting. Yeah, I may I, have yeah, a one. I may have a one on one conversation with him yeah. and say, "You tripping? You need to be yeah. shooting." He needs to take four to five shots a quarter. He needs to play like like. Of course, Jokic is the sto- super. He's a superstar, the star of this team. But man, Jamal Murray can give you twenty five easily. Yeah, yeah. should have gave me twenty five on my parlay, yeah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like that should have been easy money.